Hello everybody, welcome to Impressive Image Maker channel. This is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer, I shot this image for a long time ago. This is not digital image, well, this was a analog age, a long time ago I used the 4x5 reverse of film. I don't even remember what uh, concept was, what uh, well client is. Well, food company, maybe, I don't know. Well, this is for poster, pretty big size, A1, A0 type side of the truck. Well, anyways, uh, I have this image and also I made this pencil drawing type image by Adobe Photoshop used filter called Find Edges and uh, I'm gonna make something different well it's gonna be the illustration with uh, I'm gonna use white uh, watercolor image to make it more kind of softer image maybe I don't know what's gonna happen but uh, it's already with some kind of cartoonish image well, I shot this analog, so I haven't touched anything uh, as a digital image. I shot it before this Goya, flying Goya. Goya is the food of Jap. I mean, Okinawan uh, vegetable, pretty bitter taste. Well, this is the vegetable though. Well, uh, I have a pole to hanging this uh, flying warrior and then my art director made this um, airplane type kind of cartoon type stuff I guess he uh, asked to make this Goya to the food sampling something that kind of company but uh, this is for poster well let's get started um, I'm gonna move this empty layer in between these two and I'm going to turn it on well now it's okay turn it on then I see this I'm going to change the blend mode to darken so we can see through underneath and also I'm going to tone down this base image first of all I'm going to paint some background of this okay I'm gonna paint on this layer use the watercolor brush watercolor to wash flat okay then choose some nice blue sky color I don't know if you can see this let me turn this one off wow you don't see much it's just water flow I think now water is all over even though I don't see much then I'm going to change the brush watercolor wash soft then a little bit thick blue color real shadow watercolor image that's nice well I shot uh, multiple exposure one pop with the strobe light for this object and then uh, and just move the this then slow shutter speed to get this image now I see the background real shadow blue here I'm gonna add some more let's see now I'm gonna uh, create empty mask invert mask I'm gonna reveal with well basic to soft round size flow. Well, I'm showing this watercolor sky blue background. I only see the Goya, fine Goya shows maybe that outside. Okay, let's see this pencil drawing type image change the blend mode.
Hmm, this is interesting. Okay. Well, I kind of like this luminosity. See the color of the lines. It's nice. Very interesting. As a base image. Hmm, I really like this. Okay, this is nice. Okay, I got it. I have this. I'm gonna make this one as a base image now. Okay, these three goes to one group and uh, I paint background sky. I'm gonna duplicate this layer, then bring this one up over this one group. Select multiple one, two, three. These three image. Okay, I'm gonna copy layers, then paste layers. Now we have three image. Then merge down, merge selected. So this is the base image, right? Now, okay, this is gonna be the base. I'm gonna change the name. Okay, base image. Then these three images. I'm gonna just keep. The images then I just copied this one to background okay now I'm gonna add a layer then I'm gonna paint this goyer flying goyer colors on this paint out layer I want to see this image now okay bring this one all the way top and then tone down I guess we have this mask, huh? Uh, well, mask density just off. Then tone down to about. Okay, I'm gonna paint on this here. Now we use watercolor wash flat. Now go forward like this, paint it on this layer for this object. That's pretty good on Goya colors blending. Now I go for tomato, nice red. Just like a kid's coloring pad or something. That's pretty fun. Okay, now I go for little things. Paint on. Okay, I'm gonna march now. I'm gonna add layer then march down later. Okay, march down. Well, overall I painted and I'm going to add layer again and I'm going to add some. Now, this is the base image I just want to see as a sample. So I'm not going to use this. Just turn it off. Then this is the main part I just painted on. 
this three. This is sky. What's this one? This one is pencil drawing, is it? Yeah, I think. Okay. Now these three. Okay, this is the base. Right. Base image. Okay, let's see. Select multiple. One, two, three. These are watercolor image. Now this is a group. So just one folder run off now we see this as a base image now what's next well this is the uh, I, I just moved to up so i'm gonna bring this one back to here these three these are just for keep then i'm gonna work on these two layers yeah so far i got this much all right kind of fun kids cartoon type now well let's see it's just cute right now yeah background color okay now give it a nice greens now i'm gonna choose watercolor wash soft More feel like speed. Well, okay, now let's see about. I'm gonna clean up these black lines. Maybe this is base image. And also this pencil drawing type image. Yeah. So in this case, I'm gonna use the eraser to, to clean up. well as an illustration this is it but uh, well maybe add some let's see on this layer i'm gonna add one more thing that's it that's all okay well i guess that's it for sort of cartoon wish well i hope this movie is gonna give you some kind of well adding layer adding colors changing blend mode and type stuff to help your creative work well thank you for watching my video and uh, i hope you guys have a nice day and uh, well this is it and see you next time bye now Ciao!